and my grandma need to talk. I'm not telling you to dance. I guess we'll just get right into it. Um, this video I'm gonna be putting out in a few days, sometime in January, and what can I say? The title says it all. I'm exposing my family because, well, I really didn't do anything. You know, I didn't force them to say anything. I didn't force them to do anything. I didn't force them to call me, none of that. So, I really just recorded. And basically, I was coming over to my grandma's to give her a star for her Christmas tree. And, like, I always visit my grandma. I always come here, I always say hi, etc. And I just feel my family's like talking shit on my name. So that's not okay. That's not, this isn't, that's not good with me. There's no reason for that. I don't talk shit on their name. One thing about me is I'll never come for a person first, ever. Like, why would I come for you? I can honestly say that. Like, why would I come for someone? period you know they don't got anything that I want they don't got anything that I need so why would I come for you just point blank period I wouldn't because that's dumb <laughs> it's a waste of my time it's a waste of their time it's a waste of everyone's energy and for what a headache yeah in this video there's like things said back and forth that you know I was this is my family you know it's my mom's sisters I respect my mother I respect my grandmother they're all related so you know i wasn't like going off or anything like that or being like very rude or like very disrespectful or saying things that i would say to a bitch that i had a disagreement with that was not inside the family like that you know if it was this was just some random person disrespecting me it would have gone a very differently um but you know i'm in my grandmother's house so i keep it 100 percent respectful because that's who I am. A mature bitch that knows when there's a time and place, you know, to be ghetto and shit. Like, I'm not gonna, like, freaking unleash everything in me. Like, no. It's not the time. And I'm not even that mad about it, to be honest. So. So, basically, my mom's sisters um, have a problem with me. And that's fine. Like, you don't have to like everyone, you know. You don't have to like what everyone does. It's not you, you know? So, I don't... But for you to, like, go ahead and, like, speak to them, like, that's a whole different level. You can't tell someone how to live their life or how tell someone how to be. Like, that's not okay. Um, and I just feel like how they came about it was very disrespectful. And, you know, it's not helpful. Like, if you're trying to help someone, honestly, from the bottom of your heart, you're like, oh, I think I'm doing the right thing. You need to take a step back and look. Like, I don't know what you guys, like, I don't know what y'all do for a job, okay? But, you know, that wasn't appropriate. And me, as a stripper, it doesn't matter what I say or do. Because who's going to fire me at the end of the day? And that's how I want to live my life, 100%. Um, you know, so like... <sighs> I, I knew one of them was recording. It's not, I'm not an idiot, obviously. Like, I'm not stupid. I wasn't born just yesterday. Okay. Just probably how you knew I was recording. 
so you know you can go ahead and post the video it's gonna be exactly the same as my video just with me like towards the screen you know I'm not hiding anything period point blank like whatever I say go ahead and put it out there because I knew like you know I was keeping it PG first of all for my grandma like cuz she was there so so like what I was saying was is that if you're really trying to help someone from the bottom of your heart you don't come at someone like that because first of all when you think someone's in a bad place and you're trying to help them why would you come at them with negativity that doesn't help anyone that doesn't help anything if anything that just makes it worse like you're making the situation worse and I'm just so fortunate that I'm like strong minded and I'm strong headed that like nothing a person can say can bother me honestly because like I don't know it just really depends who you are you know only three people in my life can say something that would actually probably you know that I'd probably actually feel something and even that like they be saying stuff and I'm just like mm. and would those be my mom and you know me and my mom's relationship is totally none of those girls businesses so for them to bring it in and be like oh your mom your, your mom wants nothing to do with you blah 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 that's none of your business like you don't know nothing you don't know shit okay first of all I was just at her house the other day showing her that preview showing her the video she's like haha that's funny She's like, yeah, I can't wait to watch it when it comes out. You, you know what I mean? So, you can sit down. Because, first of all, you don't know shit. Second of all, I don't know why you think that, that I am, like, a bother or, like, a nuisance. Like, I'm not doing none of that. I don't know what you think I'm doing and why you're so mad about what I'm doing. But, like, I'm not bothering my grandma. I love my grandma. So, for you to be like, oh, I'm going to call, uh, like, elderly child, or I'm going to call elder abuse on you, like, police, and, like, go ahead. Like, at the end of the day, like, you just seem crazy. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. You're not even here. You're not even in the same city. So, like, for you, you're not even here. You're not even there for her. What are you doing? <sighs> you know? I'm just, I'm never disrespectful first. So if you're going to be disrespectful to me, I'm going to hand it right back to you, point blank, period. I don't care who you are. I want to, like, tolerate disrespect from no one at all. Like, not even my own mother. I wouldn't let my own mother disrespect me, nor would I try and disrespect her. You know what I mean? I never do stuff that's disrespectful. Yeah, maybe I do stuff that's upsetting to her, but I never purposely or say stuff that is disrespectful. Because, like, I know, I know my place. Okay, first off, I'm not a little ass girl. You can't be like saying, you can't, you can't just come in, you can't tell me what to do. You're not, I, first of all, I'm not even your child. That's not who I am. Whoever you thought I was when I was a younger girl, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I'm not that girl that you were just like, oh, like so innocent. Everyone's innocent, babe. Everyone's innocent when you're young. You know, everyone's little. You know what I mean? Everyone's young, you know, really nice, like, you know. And then guess what? We grow up and we have kids. How do you think kids got here? Like, you know what I mean? You think everyone's just so innocent? No. Like, how do you think we populate? Like, you know, little kids don't do that. When you get to a certain age, you start being able to do grown-up stuff. Guess what? I'm at that age now. So I don't, like, I feel like you all are just not realizing People change, people grow up, and yeah, I understand it's hard. I understand, like, when I'm older, that's gonna be hard if I have a child too. But I'm gonna understand that they grow up, you know. I might, it might hurt a little, but at the end of the day, you can't really stop them from being who they are and being the person that they are. And, like, honestly, I would know that from anyone because, like, you know, some people change more than, yeah, more than others, like, you know? And just to come at someone so aggressively and so angrily like instead of just like talking to me one-on-one -on -one, first of all you're on a group call and then it's just me you know and my cousin's here he's like what the fuck and you guys just come in like all mad and like leave like holy what did I do first of all like I'm hurt you know like I'm not that hurt because like 
like, who are you to me, personally, but, you know, that's, like, I'm just, like, that's what, if anyone came to me and was just, like, leave, I'd be, like, what is your problem? What did I do? Like, do you have an issue? I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I'm sorry the way you feel about me. <laughs> but I can't, I can't change myself. Um, yeah, I'm just saddened by the way my family came about this and, like, came at me. But I really didn't, like, not expect it. Like, I don't know. I've been, you know, like, this is nothing to me. And I just, you know, this is just for anyone out here who thinks you can come for me. I'm going to come for you ten times harder, period. Like, let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> I've been ready. Nothing you can say can possibly affect me. Like, I don't value, I guess I don't value, like, family as much as other people do. But because I was never, like, felt like I was really in one. Like, I just never really saw people that much in my family. It's always just been, like, kind of, like, me and my friends. You know, I don't even, like, I don't even have that many friends. Like, people are always in and out of my life. So, you know, I don't really trust anyone, you know, I just, just because you're, just because someone's title is family doesn't mean they can disrespect you point blank period, like, that's not okay. Just like domestic abuse, when it's like your family, that's still not okay. They don't go, oh, it's your family, it's okay. No, that's not how it works. And that's like, disrespect is the same thing. Like, you don't tolerate that from anyone, just like you wouldn't tolerate abuse from anyone point blank period it's like disrespectful it's not nice and frankly it's ugly so i'm cutting that out and it's 2020 so pff, if you're gonna disrespect me you can get the fuck out of my life like i don't need no one period ever in my life <sighs> just wanted to address that so if you're gonna be a hater and you're gonna not like me you're just gonna hate on me and not give like just don't give a fuck about me then bye I'll be over here living my best life. Trust me. Believe me when I say that. Because 100% 2020 is the year. Period. Said it once and I'll say it again. So. Yeah. So for those of you who do like me. And are here to ride the way. And are here for a good time. Then. Okay. I'll vibe with you. 100%. Like let's. 100% we're in this together. But if you're going to just watch me and hate on me, that's not going to work. If anything, you're going to make me and the people around me do better. And, like, it's going to feel way better in here looking down on those people that weren't with me. So, you can choose your place. You can choose to be mad, but, like, if you're mad about what I just said then obviously you're, you know that you're not one of those people that are rocking with me, so you can just leave. You don't want to see what's coming. Trust me, if you're a hater, you don't want to be watching me because you're just going to make yourself mad. And trust. That's on period. So. Uh, so, yeah. This video is going to be coming out, so watch the whole thing. It's some tea. It's kind of funny like, i thought it was funny it's really funny when people get really mad about shit that you don't care about it's just kind of funny it's like this isn't even what i care about and you're so pressed about it but okay so yeah like comment subscribe if you want to join the loop because this is it 2020 oh god you already know stay bad bitch and subscribe